Hey there Dev Squad, Virtus here and welcome back to my Unreal Engine 4 Mech Combat tutorial series. Within today's video we're going to be taking a look at how we can set up the energy that the player will be using for their special attacks. So if you take a look at the HUD reference image that I've got on the screen here, in the middle of the screen you have got three abilities that the player is going to be able to use. To be able to use those abilities they are going to need their attack energy and that attack energy is shown on the left hand side as part of a bar. In today's video we're going to be setting up that bar, setting up the variable and guessing the bar to move with the variable essentially so we have our energy system in place. What we're going to be doing as we progress into the series setting up those special attacks we can then link that attack energy system into this. But for now we're going to have the variable set up the bar setup and all of that good stuff. So without further ado, let's go ahead and dive into Unreal Engine and get started. So first things first, what we're going to need to do is open up our third person character. Within here, we are going to need to create a variable for that attack energy. So within your third person character, create a variable and we're going to give this the name attack energy just like that. For the variable type, you want to set this to a integer. Actually, no, let's go with a float. The reason why I'm using a float is because it is a numerical value, and I'm also going to keep it as a float just as that is kind of what we've got being displayed for the rest of them as well. So if we all keep them floats, it's going to be nice and easy to work with. The default value is going to be 12. Now, the reason why we're using 12 instead of 1 is because we have got 12 little notches on that bar and those special attacks they're going to use different amounts of those little energy bars. Now 12 is a pretty reasonable number in terms of gameplay in terms of how many times you can activate those abilities and that's where I've got that number from. 12 is going to be the maximum value and by default we're also going to be giving them the maximum amount of attack energy to start with so we're going to be setting this to 12. So once that's done what we can do is we can then close this and we can move over to our blueprints and our HUD widget to start setting up the graphical side of this bar. So the first thing that we're going to do is quickly import the background image for the left hand side. So I'm going to go and drag in an image and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to get the dimensions of this image. So 640, so I just copy and paste the size X and Y into here. So 640 by 87 and then for the image we are going to set this to bars BG left. And then what we're going to do with this is anchor it to the bottom left hand corner. And then we're going to zoom in nice and close and make sure it's all the way up to the edge just like that. So once we've done this what we can now do is go ahead and add in the bar for the attack energy. So grab a progress bar from the components panel, sorry the palette. And then with this what you want to do is just simply stretch it out and then under style go to your background image and we're going to be setting this to our no fill image for that attack energy. If you want to get the name for that go to user interface and you can see we've got rage and rage no fill. Rage is essentially what we're giving the name of that attack energy. Uh, this is the bar for it. So Rage No Fill is going to be our background image and Rage Fill is going to be our filled image. So go back into your HUD widget. Background image, like I said, is going to be Rage No Fill. And then set your margin down to zero so it stretches out to the whole size of the image. There's no gaps or anything like that. And then for your fill image, you want to set this to Rage Fill. And once again, we are setting our margin to zero. If I move my progress from left to right now, what you should see is our bar is filling up just the way that we want it to. So you can see here, as I move it from left to right, we've got each one of these little notches being shown. 
So what I'm going to do now is just take a moment to stretch out this little progress bar of mine to the size that looks best. So now it's fitting nicely within the shape. It's similar to the HUD reference and I am happy with that. So now what we need to do is link the percentage, the progress on this bar to the variable for our rage. The way that we're going to do this is by going down to progress, we're going to be creating a binding and with this, we need to get the information from the third person character blueprint. So once again, we need to access that. So cast to third person character, object wildcard needs to be get player character. And then as the third person character, we need to get our attack energy. So type in get attack energy. And this time, if we hook it up to our return value, it's not going to give us the result that we're expecting. And the reason why is because the progress bar goes from zero to one, whereas our attack energy is going to be going from zero to 12. So what we need to do is take our attack value and sort of divide it up in a way that it will work. And the way we're going to do this is by simply doing float divided by float so what we need to do is divide the current by the maximum and that will give us our value we're after. So hit play and now you can see we've got eight of those bars. So sometimes you need to be careful with your maths, but as you can see, we've now got eight. So count them on your screen. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then if I go back into my third person character just do this a couple of times make sure your code works but if it's exactly the same as mine it will if we set this to two hit compile and then hit play you can see we've now got two bars being displayed on the screen so that is pretty much everything for your attack energy setup and working to go what we still need to do is add in the abilities such as the whirlwind attack and also how we can add in the leap and all of that good stuff but for now guys that is everything that i wanted to cover in this video thanks for watching stay awesome keep creating your boy vertus signing out this video was made possible by my supporters on patreon if you want more videos like this check out my patreon page using the link in the description to stay up to date on new releases make sure you follow us on social media